hey guys what's going on uh in this video i'll be putting you through how you can install wordpress on your amway web hosting account so you have two different options at your disposal which you can do this first is installing from your client's area that's your client portal and second is installing from cpanning using software coolers app installer so i'm going to be putting you through these two different methods so you pick anyone you like and use it so first <coughs> After you have purchased your hosting account and you also purchased your domain, your domain, your domain is already registered and it's now integrated with the hosting account through name server. So the first thing you do is go through uh, your Amway web granting app and click on the services and you can just follow my mouse and you can see what I'm doing. So click on the services and when you click on the service, you're going to see the list of the service you have on Amway web and then you click on the manage. Here I have only one service and the domain here benjitutorial.com so i'm going to click on manage this is the manage button here when you click on manage then you're going to see different options um different tools which you can use to manage your hosting account so here is add-on domain installing applications autoresponder backups disk and so on so here yeah, i'm going to click on wordpress manager here because i want to install wordpress from the uh, client area so i'm going to click on wordpress manager and then yeah it's good to bring in uh list of installations that is if you have any current installations of wordpress on that particular hosting account but here i do not have any installation yet so i'm going to create a new installation by clicking on the new installation button so once you click on the new installation button you are going to select the product you want to install so, uh, your wordpress to i only have only one product here so there's not going to show you any list here so and then you choose the protocol. I'll be using HTTPS because I have SSL. I'm going to give you a free SSL certificate whenever you purchase those things. All, uh, all the domains you host on your Amweb cPanel will always come with uh, SSL. So I'm going to be using HTTPS protocol because I have SSL. And then I will input the, the domain name. So this option here to input domain name. Yeah, you have to input the domain name again. Doesn't mean because uh, you already have the domain name at your primary domain name. You have to input the domain name. Uh, another thing this thing can do for you is if the domain uh, is you to use as an add-on domain and you don't even add a domain on your uh sip panel yet as an add-on domain this system will automatically create that domain as an add-on domain and then install wordpress on it but here i'm going to be using the domain name already have as my primary domain so i'm going to type the domain name here okay so okay sorry so and then the administrator password so you are going to enter i mean input your uh password you want to use for logging into your wordpress admin dashboard please always use a strong password this is for your security reasons so i will be using password like uh just for uh tutorial purpose not my user password so i'm just see uh something like uh, uh So, just take note of this password. That's what I'll be using to log into my uh, WordPress dashboard. And then the next thing is your site name. Uh, well, my site name, I can just say, uh, hmm? my name is Benjamin, so that's why I'm using Benji. Oh, yes, so you can see. And then the admin username, that is the admin username for logging into your uh, dashboard. WordPress you usually use uh, admin as a default, but you can always change it for security reasons as well. So I can just use uh, this and then email. You can also use any email. Just make sure it's correct and you can access the email because sometimes WordPress is sending some logs to your mail. And then description. Yeah. So once you have put all the details here, you are going to click on the next type here, which is order. Description. That is your WordPress description. And then I can just put something like um install WordPress. Really? And then directory, make sure this is just empty because unless you want to install WordPress on another directory, like uh your domain name.com forward slash something else. But then if you don't want to install on something else like uh, another directory, just just your domain, then leave this empty. And then you type this name, you can just leave it like that and prefix. You can put anything. If you use anything, I mean, if you leave it empty, WordPress will automatically use WP. So, uh, multi site, I'm not using it for multi site. So, 
it's just single side and then this can just be like this and then you click or create so this will take some time to complete and then once it completes you will be able to access our wordpress website and also log into our dashboard and then continue to install templates plugins and other things you need to add to your website or you just need to hold on and let this complete installation So the installation is complete and you can see it is now listed on the WordPress installation. Let me try to visit the website here. Open a new tab here. And then you can see this is the uh, WordPress I just installed. This is the WordPress site. If I want to access WordPress dashboard, you can just put the domain name forward slash wp-admin and then it will pop up the uh, WordPress dashboard login. So you can just input the details you use to install your WordPress and then log in here. Um, and use this under. Let me see. Type in great password. Yeah, this is what I did. This should be so because there. So you can see I'm now logged into the WordPress dashboard. So that is the first method which you can use to install WordPress on your ARM web hosting account. And this here, uh, this uh, portal, I want to show you from here, if you do not want to log into your WordPress dashboard by going through the process of uh, clicking on, I mean, visiting the domain name forward slash WP admin and then input your password. Maybe probably you forgot your password. You can log in to your WordPress from here. Yeah. Let me try and log out so you can see. Let me log out so you can see what I'm talking about. So I've logged out. From here, you can see this uh, login to control panel. This is going to log into your log you into your WordPress dashboard automatically without you inputting your password or username. Let me try that here, and then and then you can see that. So you don't need to input your WordPress password or username to log in using this uh tool. So the next method is uh installing through your cPanel. So here I'm going to log into our cPanel, but before we do that, we want I want to uninstall this WordPress from their domain so you can use it to also show you how you can install through cPanel so I'm going to click on delete uh, installation this is going to delete the WordPress installation yes this uh, it's asking if I want to remove the installation and also remove the type is user yes I want to do all those things confirm and now the installation has been removed so let me go back to the client area and then show you the steps uh, on how to install from cPanel. So it's still uh, almost the same thing. Just click on services and then click on manage. Then you scroll down till you see uh, the one click login that takes you to cPanel. You can see there are different login sections here to cPanel, file manager, PHP, my admin, that is for the tab and also web mail for your custom email address that you have created. So I'm going to click on the cPanel to click on the login to cPanel here. So this will take me to the cPanel uh, portal. So yeah, the next thing you should do is uh, scroll down and then look for WordPress Manager or Softaculous App Installer. You can use WordPress Manager by Softaculous or Softaculous App Installer. Usually, whenever I want to install WordPress, since it's software, I just use this directly. And then you click on install. This will take you to uh session way session way by you're going to uh input the details for your WordPress dashboard. Here you can already see the directory I was talking about in the other part here. So you're going to leave it in empty and then your site name. I'm going to input your site name, the site description, the username and password. So I'm going to be using the same username here. And then password. Snug in this prong button, it's fine. So, uh, the admin email you can leave it this way or use the one you can have access to. But if you are going to be leaving this to this default, you are going to make sure you have created the uh custom email as admin at your domain name and then scroll down and then uh, you click on install. That's basically all you need to do. Click on install and make sure you have also set the protocol to HTTPS or by default it to be on HTTPS. So, click on install.
So we wait for it to complete the installation and then so we can proceed. So let's get into the site. And then here is it, Chrome back to make sure your software was installed successfully. And let us check out the WordPress site. Uh, so I didn't, I changed, I used a different name rather for the blogs, I mean the uh, site name so you can see, like it's a different installation. So you can see the new one is my blog and then the description. It's not written here on the template, but then you can see this different name. And then if you want to log into administrative uh, portal, you can also use, you can see this the same URL you will use. So there's also another way you can log into WordPress without using your uh, username and password there from your Cpani letter. You just click on WordPress manager here. And then you will see something like a login button here. And here. When you click on it, you take it to your WordPress dashboard. And this is really helpful because whenever you forget your password you can just come here and then click on user and this user and then edit and then uh you change your password here that is whenever you uh, forget your password you can just log in from log and wait client tv or uh cpani so that is all about this video i hope this is helpful if you are not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe so you can you can get notified whenever you upload more tutorials on this channel so thanks for watching bye for now